Alright, hello everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV. I am your host, Ace Barrett King. This is our friend, Shanks Viota. And uh, joining me are my co hosts, the two fans. And um, also, between episodes, I got my mail. So I have a little, I have, I have a minion now. It's gonna follow me around and be small. Anyway, let's go out here and kill some stuff. Whee. I also moved. I don't know if you've noticed, but I moved my, uh, um, my, my webcam to the middle of the monitor, so hopefully... I don't know, we'll see if that has any effect at all on the little dude. Okay. Gonna throw some magic at bugs and rats. Ah! Bush! Bush in my face! This is not the context in which I like to have bush in my face. Ha 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 ha! That was a joke about sexual activities. Something of which I totally know about. Okay, more rats. Um, do, 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 do. Two more rats. One more rat. No more rats. Okay, let's go kill some more Aurelia. RLA, RLEA, some jellyfishes. Let's run. I don't care about fades right now. I will probably do some eventually, but at the moment I don't care to. Because I've got no reason to. I don't need the experience. I'm fine. Oh, did I forget? To, I forgot to do this. Now I don't need the experience. Okay. So, um, they changed Arcanist a lot. Um, with the most recent patch, uh, the Eevee here used to help fight alongside you, um, which could be a problem because this blue one it was an AoE and would often aggro a bunch of uh, a whole bunch, all, all of the bad guys, and then they would come and beat the shit out of you, and that was bad when you were level five. Um, but fortunately, they don't do that anymore, so now Eevee just chills and will put a shield on you if you ask it to, which I did not do at all, because I did not need to, because they never came close enough to actually attack me. So that's fine. Alrighty, we're gonna go kill our lambs and then go turn in all these questuses and then do our... Ah! Next job, questuses, and then we'll... Um, Gonna do some questing in this area this episode. Yeah. That'll be what this episode is. It's doing shit around here. Wee, wee, wee. Hello, Lafayette. Uh, her Eevee is almost as big as she is. Alright. In case anybody happens. To be curious about why I'm calling the Carbuncles Eevees, it's because they look like Eevee. Except blue. I know, it's not something that needed to be explained, but... I explained it anyway. Hi, Cammy! Yeah! Yeah, you're Cammy! You are my co-host, Mr. Cameo! Alright, uh, where were we? Yeah, right, we were gonna go to... The Zephyr Gate, which we can do via the Ethernet shard. Any 
do 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 Better come over here, I'm gonna go down there. No, Lambeth. You gotta kill Lambeth. The little baby sheeps. Look at them, they're very round. They are friend shaped. And soon they will be corpse shaped. Thank you. See, that is that is pretty much all that um, that one does right now. It's puts a shield on me that does not last very long. Uh, it's called please but dead okay great Turn into some quests. Ooh, dragon lady. Okay. Do, 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 do. Bouncy, bouncy. Pion, pion, like a bunny. Pion, pion, and there we go. Guild. We'll start up here and then go around from the driving wedge. Hi, Cammy! What are you doing? Why are you looking at the air? Oh, you're trying to get at your. Yeah? Is that so? Okay, where am I? Hello. Better on is not loaded in, of course. This shit. This shit all the time. Look at my earring. I'm an earring. It gives me extra experience. Okay, hi. Glory days. Uh. A Sid said an adventurer might be dropping by to deliver something special. That you, lad? Sure is. You can go take these. The Aurelia Umbrellias. Alright, old lad. You didn't have to go to all this trouble. Ah, this god's damn spell. Smell. I've hated Aurelia Umbrellia since I was a self sword. It is only the nastiest shit I ever put in your mouth. I tried sprinkling it with salt and cooking it over a campfire, but it was still a little better than chewing on driftwood. Try for yourself, lad. You'll see what I mean. I'll pass. Thank you, though. Do, do, do. Uh, I don't need either of these. Nah, I don't need them. Alright, what's up? Ah, so you slew a few rats. Good on you, lad. This bloke comes through the other day and pops this huge sack at, uh, this huge sack inside of a bleeding goo boo on the counter, saying what any man what slays rats can have something from within. When I inquire, inquires as to why, all he says is the damn noise they make when scurrying about is driving him insane. You ask me, though, he was already a bit touched. Something tells me the poor lad will never find peace. Camille, you are going to fall down. I don't need a hood. Um, I, don't, I don't need the li little five hats because uh, the, the helmet I've got on is give me an experience boost up to level 10. So, um, 
yeah. And you're gonna have to take the word for it. Alrighty, let's go to, uh, we are not gonna take the ethernet because that'll put us in a loading screen and I don't know how long it'll take. So we'll just, we'll just jog over to the sprint, sprint over to the, the Bismarck. It's not that far, just over here. Camille, what are you doing? Your tail is swishy swishing. Yeah, it's swishy swishing. Are you being a silly boy? Are you the goofy kitty? There she is, hello. Uh, have you had any luck in obtaining the fresh lamb? Please hurry, the guests are arriving any moment now. Yeah, here you go. Four slices of fresh lamb and right in the nick of time. Thank you ever so much. Uh, it says, Camille, what are you doing? Don't do that. Uh, Tis times like this I feel fulfilled in my role. I used to be a chef myself, you see, but my skills weren't quite up to par. So when the Bismarck expanded operations, I asked to be made as a provisioner instead. That way I can still be part of the business in, par in spite of my shortcomings. Uh, good for you. I'm happy to hear that. Okay, I'll take these. Thank you. Recommended you. Thank you. Hooray, I've got oven mitts on. Now I look like an idiot. But isn't that the true MMO experience? Ah! Camille! Why are you making daddy drop things? You're so silly. Boop, boop, sniff, sniff. Head. Cam, what are you doing? I see, I see. Let's go, let's go. All right. Hey, boss, I'm done. I see the creatures beyond the city walls posed you a little threat. It is with great pleasure then that I formally recognize you and you are in my personal space. Recognize your initiation into the guild. From this day forth, you may proudly bear the title of Arcanus. I suggest you continue your forays into the wilderness and keep the pages of your grimoire turning. There is no finer teacher than the harsh mistress of experience. And to commemorate the occasion, I gift you with this hunting log. Uh, the enemies marked within its pages have been specifically chosen to challenge your abilities in Arcanima. When you devise a new strategy or tactic, you now have a ready source of opponents on which to test it. And when you feel you can command carbuncle, carbuncle as easily as you might move your own limbs, return to me for further instruction. I will be waiting. Cool. Thank you. Grapes. Yes, yes, I know how it works. Um, and she gave me these raisins, which will increase my stats by a very tiny a little bit, but more importantly, give me an XP bonus for 30 minutes. So we'll eat one of those. I don't want to join in a, a free company. No. I decline. Okay, hi. Ah, Shanks, isn't it? Aren't you? Are you eating well? Yes, I just ate something. An empty stomach distracts the mind and leads to hurried judgment. I must oft remind my arcanists to take meals, so ensconced do they become in their studies. Speaking of such, have you been practicing your tactics with Carbuncle? I believe it is time to assess your improve the improvement of your skills. As with your previous trial, I would have you defeat foes in Lower, lower Lenosha. Three wild dodos and three tiny magigoras, to be precise. Watch carefully the behavior of your opponents, formulate an effective strategy, and utilize your arcane en entity to its fullest potential. I expect you back in time for dinner. Okay, bye. I mean, it's one in the morning here in Aorgia, but yeah, sure, why not? All right. Do, 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 boop. Cami. Yeah, you're Cami. You have triangles for ears, and you have a little nose. And you have whiskers. And you've got whiskers. And you've got a mouth with teeth in it. Oh, and your tongue just popped out. All right. Okay, you see this little symbol here? It looks like a, a, a I guess, a, a baum kuchen. I don't know what it's supposed to be. It's just like a little thingy. Well, anyway, this mark means that they are in my hunting log. So if I kill them, I'll get a little bit extra XP for it. But only if I kill them an amount. That is in the hunting log, which I believe is three. Yes, it's three. It says right there in the thingy. Ooh. 
What are you doing? Why are you lagging on me? Don't you do that. That's rude. I do not like that. I disapprove of being of lag. Thank you. And excuse me. All right. It's two down. I'm gonna go this way. Run, run, run. Run, run, run. Run, run, run. Run, run, run. Ay, 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 ay. And I believe these Aurelias are also on my, uh, my hunting log. Uh, or I guess not. Maybe not. Oh, there they are. Oh. You can do it. You get that little ladybug. You can do it, little Lala Fell. I believe in you. Believe in the Lala Fell who believes in him in herself. Alrighty. Um. Little do. Healing dodos. You know they are extinct. Alright. Okay. So this thingy that I just got the ether charge. I do this. Bam. I believe it makes. It does something. What does it do? Um. Yeah, it makes my uh, makes my spells a little bit stronger for a little bit, and then as soon as it runs out, I can use my Ruby Carbuncle, who will run over and attack. Bam! And, then, and it also lets me use the fancy ones. Fancy type of ruin. Go here. Get this fancy ruin on this one's bike. Alright, and it ran out because I only have two charges of, of ruby. Nice bike. And, uh, but as you can see, I can either charge again. Which I will do, because you can only do it in battle, and I am now out of battle, so I need to come and kill, start a fight with the Mandragora, who are next on my list. There they are. Ta da! Ta da! Yep. And there you go. It's gonna run out of time before we can need to fight something else, so wait, is that on it? No. Okay. So I guess we'll just head back. Uh, do, 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 do. I'm going to go ahead and just use my turn. So that you guys don't have to watch me run all the way back. Me! Cammy! Oh he's sleeping! He's trying to sleep, but daddy keeps bothering him. What an asshole! I can. What are you doing? All right. Let's go this way. This is the way to the Arcanist Guild. Run! Yeah, this not, I'm not going to be using the Ethernet as often as I would normally do, just because I want to avoid loading screens as much as I can. while I'm recording. You understand. Do, 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 do. Right over here. <gasps> Do 
She's gone. Where did you go, boss? Boss! Boss! I finished what you asked me to do and you're not even here. Why? Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. I'm so slash disappointed in you. I am utterly disappointed. I'm gonna make everybody motion sick with all my messing with the cameras. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Come on. Hey, hey. Game, game. Could you please, could you please, could you? I would appreciate it if you would function. Ah, uh, excuse me, cat girl. There we go. Hello, ma'am. Welcome back, Shanks. It appears your coordination with Carbuncle is progressing at a satisfactory pace. Shall we test your growing acumen with a more practical examination? Our work at Mailbond's Gate requires us to inspect the re re inspect and record the contents of incoming cargo. To simulate such a task, I have had several crates transported to the cliff south of the Zephyr Gate. I want you to examine those crates, then return the inspected cargo here to me. You would be surprised at the depths to which some merchants will sink to deter our customs agents from performing thorough investigations. False bottoms, rotting foodstuff, flesh-eating vial can, Camille, you are being silly. I suggest you be prepared for any eventuality. Okay, bye! Cammy's being silly, Cammy's being silly. He is a goofer. Hi! Hi! Oh, bless you! Bless you! Tammy is hanging upside down from the sketching post. I'm kind of like looking around all confused. Alrighty. Um. So this is one of those ones that used to be kind of a pain before they changed it because um, uh, Emerald, I mean this carbuncle here, would, uh, it, what it used to be Emerald, called Emerald Carbuncle, now it's just Carbuncle, but it, it used to like, it would aggro all these w rats in addition to the bad guys you're supposed to kill, because oh, this, this uh, purple fart cloud um, means that you're going to have to fight something. But yes, it would aggro all of these, so if you weren't prepared for it and you didn't know what you were doing, it would, you would very quickly get overwhelmed and uh, get the shit beat out of you a little bit. But uh, unfortunately, that's no longer a problem. So, uh, yeah. Let's just get our thingy and kill these slugs. Hello! They might be, I might kill them before uh, I even need to bring out Ruby Carbuncle. Yep, looks like there's gonna be no no need for Ruby here because they're dead. Ta da! All done. Do, 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 do. Rub the crates, rub the crates, rub the crates. And got team. Hmm. There's a book. Um, I am not a threat. Pray ignore my presence for the present and allow me a moment to cogitate. Uh, okay, nerd. The reaction to my sudden appearance was within expected parameters, but I must admit I did not expect so proficient, proficient a performance against the enemy set as against you. It was two slugs. Yet effective, effective though your tactics were, I supplied much room for improvement. As I watched you battle, the wheels of my mind whirled into motion, as they are wont to do, inventing other possible strategies you might have employed. Like what? Smack him with my book? Let's see, taking into account your current level of ability, factoring in the etheric constant, multiplying by the number of opponents, then applying your tactics to other potential combat scenarios, 
Oh dear, my calculations indicate failure upon encountering threat level 9,785. Uh, okay. Well, we'll have to see what we can do about that. Though the opportune window to do so has passed, I would never nevertheless introduce myself. I am Clegia, a male Vonsgate assessor. Acting at Guildmaster Thubbergeim elected me to oversee your training and provide any necessary guidance and instruction in the field of Arcanima. She's cute. I like her. From what I have observed thus far, you have an admirable grasp of the fundamentals. It's almost like you've played this class before. I do, however, wish to confirm one small detail. Regarding your choice of arcane geometries, what factor most influences your actions during battle? I uh, desire to help with an enemy, potential for amusement, I simply do what feels right. Um, oh, I just do what feels right. Aha! Just as I predicted, and uh, now I have the final element needed to perform another calculation. Hmm, the probability of you becoming an arcanist of note is 90%, give or take half a percent. Yes, the certainty is quite high. After all, I only know of one other practitioner who responded to my question in the same manner. It was the man who bestowed me upon me this grimoire, the guildmaster himself. <coughs> While our inscrutable leader is, as I am sure you've heard, on an indefinite leave of absence, he did leave us with his most notorious saying to date. Strategy is a tool used to manipulate one's situation into the desired reality. No matter how gifted you and I might be, however, the instantaneous manipulation of reality that might cause us to suddenly become mighty arcanists is beyond our present abilities. Discipline and experience is the finest strategy in this case, unless you go to the store and buy the one that boosts your level. I suggest you continue to focus on refining your aptitude with Carbuncle. Mastery with an, an arcane entity will greatly improve your success as a wielder of Arcanima. Here ends your lesson for today. Pray return directly to the guild. I believe Mistress Thubbergame is awaiting some inspected cargo. And what of myself? I'm off to the fields, of course. The tactics I reasoned out earlier must be attempted in real-life scenarios. Theory is all well and good, but there is no substitute for actual combat. We will meet again soon. Bye! Okay, see ya. Bye-bye! Okay, let's go. Hmm? Oh, the dragon man is also doing the, the same thing. He's also meeting by here. Alright, let's go up. Up, 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 And around. I'm still waiting on that to... Um, yeah, still cooling down. Oh, well. Wee, pion. Pyong! 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 Dee 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 dee. I think I'll make Dota. Still waiting for my ice to melt. Oh, I love that cat. I don't know how you get it though. Do, 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 do. We have the mount version, but though it hasn't, uh, it hasn't popped into my mailbox yet. It won't for a little while. Somebody's advertising their um free company. Let's go back to the event tab. Wee wee Oh, right, because I... 
I was squeezing the button while I was running. Will you hurry up and load in, please? Boss. Come on. <sighs> Who's this guy? Lolet. Hey, I know who. That's. What's this fuck's name? From that one? Joe. Do you have an adventure play yet? No. That guy from Death Note. There you are! Ah, oh, Shanks, have you returned with the cargo? Yep, here you go. Yes, everything seems to be in order. Relatively clear, but blood and other gore. That can be something of a problem in our profession, you understand. I also had word from Claia uh, regarding your performance. She seemed uh, eager to continue your training. An odd lass, I will admit, but the guild can boast no finer mind for tactics. You would do well to heed the instruction she offers, particularly that which t touches on the diligent approach to our art. Did you perhaps notice the better tone Plythea carries? That initiate's grimoire has served her from the day she entered the guild. She has her reasons, but it's admittedly strange to see it kept all the way to her present position as Forcier. I fear such an intense fo focus on Arcanima has led her to overlook other important aspects of life. As our master strategist guides your arcanist training, I hope you might return the favor and help broaden her own perspective somewhat. But though enough of such matters for the moment, you've done well this day, Shanks. Pray continue your practice with Carbuncle as Clay, uh, Clay has bid. I'll be here when the time comes for your next bit lesson. Thank you. Give me the the chess piece. I always I, I usually end up getting chess pieces from the scholar. I mean the thingies with some exceptions. All right, let's go. We're gonna head up to the drowning wench. Okay, fine. We'll we'll go to the, either. Way, I can't avoid a a, a a a loading screen, so we'll look here. Instead of bothering, uh, talking to me, we're gonna make Vadaron wait a little bit longer and talk to the lady who uh, was fucking with us earlier. Where is she? She hasn't loaded in. <laughs> Load. Any better internet? I hate living in the middle of nowhere. God. Don't listen to the cottage court folks. Living in a, in a rural area is uh, it's overrated. It's nothing to do. Nowhere to go. The internet sucks. People are racist. Okay, hey, uh, what's up, man? Oh, you've returned. I hope you do not harbor any ill will towards me for my earlier deception. You see, I believe the most important lesson for a green adventurer to learn is he should always question the motives of everyone he meets. If I have given offense, allow me to make it up to you with some advice. Tell me, have you visited... Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay. Visited the eyes outside the Tempest Gate and past Madman Bridge? The sentry station there keep watch over the road, and when trouble arises, they sometimes turn to, to outside help. If you wish to make a name for yourself as a trustworthy adventurer, you should speak with Ankara at the eyes and offer your assistance. Okay, I'm gonna totally believe that you're not putting me on again. Totally. No way. Absolutely no way that you could be fucking with me yet again. Alright. Do, 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 do. These boots just do not work with this, with this robe at all. In fact, they look quite silly. Oh, what you gonna do? I'm running out of. Okay, so here's a little neat little trick for uh, for dealing with for food. Is that if you eat two different things, it'll be set and you'll still be at half an hour. But if you eat two of the same things, it'll stack up to an hour. Ain't that neat? So. 
I mean, the, I mean, only the time, not the actual stat increase or experience boost will stat, just the amount of time it's active for. I, I learned that um, fairly recently. One of my alts was sort of a role-playing kind of deal. And one of the little character things for him is that he... I always try to keep the well-fed thing up. Even though I often forget because I don't generally bother on my other characters. Even though I know that I should, but I don't. I, got, I try to when I'm going to, when I'm leveling classes, I'll try to remember to, but I often don't. You know. You know how it is. Ay, 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 ay. Ah, they're having trouble fighting the frogs. Do you need some Aurelia umbrellas? Hi. You say someone told you to come here for work play it, lad? I'm afraid you've been had. Oh, what a shock. We've, we're known to hire adventurers, just true, but we always go to the Adventurers Guild. Even if I wanted to assign you duties, gel yellow jacket regulations prohibit me from doing so directly. Now, if you don't mind working in an unofficial capacity, I have a personal request I can make of you. Put on pants. I keep, oh, I'm gonna keep doing that because I'm just used to hitting the triangle button after putting on new gear. My granddad's uh, head of the Red Rooster Stead, and Alex's his name. He asked me to bring him some river toad le levers, but the mere thought of put it in, pulling slimy levers out of slimy frogs gives me, me the shivers. Maybe you'd care to, to fetch a liver or three for me? You can get them by slaying the river toads what dwell around the eyes. Okay. Do, 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 do. Excuse me, excuse me. La la la. Froggies. Okay, froggies. Time to die. Once again, I'm gonna be done, and now I'm gonna need to bother with my ruby carbuncle, and we'll see if it actually, well, hopefully it'll, it should stay for a little while. I don't know when it actually resets if you don't summon it, but I know that it does. Probably when you go through a, a, a cut of scrape, that, 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 Your life save adventurer. Now I take these lever. I take these livers to grand on myself, but I can just up and leave my leave my post. Not to mention the mere sight of those slimy things makes me stomach churn. Would you mind doing the delivering in me stead? Mind old Anarch at the Red Rooster stead, and you can turn those river toad livers to gill. All right, thank you. Bye. Do 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 do. Ring, 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 ring. It's but run faster. Bill Bird. Look a little guard hat. Cool. It's like a little place to store shit. And we're here. Alright, um should I bother talking to you? Ow. Yeah, I'll talk to you. Mind looking into something for me, adventurer? May even be of interest to you, in fact. I'm told that parts within mist are be to be auctioned off. You, me, elves, even a twelve, th twelve damned wandering minstrel could purchase their own piece of, Lano of Lenosha. And upon that plot of land, you'd be free to build a house for you and yours. Ha 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 Yeah, not happening. You can tell me... You can't tell me that the thought isn't at least slightly appealing, can you? Uh, I can, actually. It is a bit surprising that the Thalassocracy has uh, had the time and resources to prepare such an idea, what with the gold bowls and the primals causing all manner of trouble. 
But who am I to judge the priorities of politicians, much less pirates, eh? Besides, I'd like nothing more than to own my own home. I've yet to verify the truth of the tale just yet, though. If you've no objections to taking a detour from your adventures, what are you mind? Why not head to, towards the gate to Mist and see if there's a Maelstrom representative who can confirm or deny these land auctions? Eh, sure, I guess. Um, yeah, we're never gonna buy a house. I'm just gonna tell you that right now because the housing market in this uh, game is fucking, is fucked all hell. Um, and also because I don't need one, like, but uh, we might get an apartment. I have an apartment on my main that I'm never at, which is part of the reason I don't want to buy a house that I'm never at. Um, but yeah. If a lifetime of meticulous research into the advancement of the agricultural arts has taught me anything, it's that the fruits of knowledge are incapable of preserving themselves. Without an adventurer's brawn to protect them, I fear all my work will come to naught. Take, for example, the splendid ogre pumpkin crop I was able to cultivate. Years of hypothesizing and testing at last made tangible, only to be snatched away by those subterranean uh, Terranian Sorners, the clever hedge moles. What the fuck is a Sorner? I have already engineered the pumpkins to resist fire, drought, frost treats, insects, and festive rituals. I just need someone to kill the moles. Okay. Hello. Uh, they call me the Stud Shepherd, but all three kinds of li livestock we, we breed here fall under my crook. Nevertheless, sheep remain my first love, my one true passion. So you can imagine my dismay at finding my flock of foot in flumpy, flumpy fleece. I can't very well take worn out wool to market. A sheep with no shine is good for nothing but mutton. But where there's wool, there's a way. See what Char uh, Chartain had to, has to say. Okay. Hey, guy. I swear, this is the last time I send that granddaughter of mine to fetch river tote livers. These ones? Why, these are the livers I asked for. <sighs> I should have known better. And Creta has been dainty since she was a wee lass. I regret any trouble we've caused you. I heard that the New Worlders use fish livers as fertilizer, so I thought I would give toad livers a try. A farmer can't be afraid to try new things. Nay, he must grow his knowledge as he grows his crops. That's how this farm grew to be what it is. You'd do well to stick around and see. Okay. Oh, what's up, man? I hope you don't feel cheapish about holding a, a wee bit of wool. The flock's fleece is shorn and scoured, and the sack is all set to sail. Normally, the man manic miller up north takes it and felt it for us, but it seems the only wool his courier's tending today is his blanket, the lack of that basical loafer. So I hoped you might be able to, uh, might see to it the, oh, so might see to it the sack of fleece down by the flock's pen reaches the miller. Uh, White Duran is his name. Okay, so, um... I gotta tell you, I've been having having a little bit of trouble with OBS where it's not always telling me how long I've been recording for, so th I don't know how long this video is gonna be. Well, to f um, we'll finish all this stuff here and instead, and once they start sending me to another area, I will cut. I'll um, I'll end the episode there, and then we'll pick up uh, at the new place. So, you know, that'll be fun. Hey, guy! Uh, Morgrim had some little lambs whose fleece was white as snow, but everywhere the little lambs went, lice were sure to go. Now we're stuck with lousy sheep. In the time it takes me to brush one, clean the lice spread to two more. I just can't keep up with them myself. If you could brush three shaggy sheep for me, we might be able to wipe out the infestation altogether. Let Morgrim know what his sheep are in ship shape once you've finished. They had a lot of fun with writing this, the dialogue in this game. Why did they give me three different cones? You'd think that I could do all three with one cone. Shaky sheep looks relieved. No. Relieved, relieved. And relieved. Awesome. Let's go. Wee. Bam. Alright, if I talk to this guy, he'll start a fate, and I don't want to do that, but I'm just going to tell you that's what that, that little icon over his head means. Okay, winning. Uh, do, 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 do. Purple fart cloud of doom. And where are you, mole? They are. Oh, wait. Oh, I can... Have a uh, booby. Figure this thing out. 
Go head back up. Let's go around here to Mist. Good scratch, good scratch, good scratch, good scratch, scratch. Mm. All right. What's up, ma'am? Hello. Hmm. What is it, adventurer? Ah, oh, yes, the auctions. Salute. If I order the Admiral herself, mist and all plots within are to be sold exclusively to adventurers so as to encourage their immigration to Limsa Lamensa. Are you only adventurers, you ask? Practical necessity, really. Uh, Limsa Lamensa is in dire need of fresh blood. Capable, courageous adventurers who will fight her foes and protect her interests. Those who build a home here will have that much more incentive to aid us. As for what manner of place mist is, I think it is best, it best you journey there and see for yourself. Please direct any other questions you might have to the recruit station just past the entrance. Uh, okay, let's go here. Yes, yes, we're gonna go to Ward 13 because that is where my apartment is and I want to show it off. And actually, even though I, s I uh, said that we were gonna end it after finishing all the chores around, instead we will actually end it in my apartment. Want that to be nice. Okay. So pretty. We are here. Ah! Move. Go. Come on. Come on. Oh my god. Hello? Oh, come on. Oh my god. What's going on? Okay, thank you. Jesus Christ. That was annoying. Uh, hi! Greetings, adventurer, and welcome to Mist! Hmm, a Lominson sent you, you say? Ah, that's unfortunate. All Lominsons are, for, are barred from participating in the auctions, you see, on account of the fact that they're, well, Lominson. Admiral's decree. If you find the area to your liking, though, please consider speaking with the resident caretaker. She can guide you through the process of purchasing a plot for yourself. Were any available, which they aren't. Um, but we're gonna go this way mm, to this big yellow marker over here, which I've never actually gone to on foot before. I usually teleport, but like I said, I don't want I'm trying to avoid loading screens as much as possible. Uh, ah, ah, there it is. It's not that far. That's good. Mm, there's a big market board right out front, and a retainer bell, and 
for it to kind kind enough to load. Chocobos! Look at the chocobos! They are happy chocobos. All right, we're gonna go to a specified apartment. Um, it is sixty something. Yes, yeah, sixty two. All oh, access is restricted. Can't go in there. I'll have to let myself in. I mean, I'll, I'll have to get to my uh, my thing and make it so that I can. All right. Um. I'll have to show off my apartment another day. So we will finish the uh, the chores around um, Roosterstead before we end the episode. Uh, to do this way. stairs? I think so. Maybe? Hope so. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, there they are. I remember these people. Uh oh. The exit. Oh, there it is. I thought the exit was closer. There we go. Okay. Let's leave. Okay, bad news. I said no. I said you're not allowed. Alright, what's up, man? There you are. What news have you bought me? For the purposes of luring adventurers to Limsa Lamensa, and that's unfortunate, but it does explain a great deal. <sighs> Looks like my dream of owning my own home will have to wait a little longer. Don't you worry about me. My day will come soon enough. Okay. was so easy it makes me wonder why I spent my life formulating complex solutions to problems rather than merely going around killing things. Nevertheless I'm afraid it's too late to alter my methods now. I'll continue to focus on the complex solutions and have you stick around to kill things. What hubris, what arrogance to believe that I, one woman alone, could overcome the unfathomably vast and unprofound mysteries of nature. But with you here I'm sure we can do it. Okay what do you want now? Uh, okay to partake in the inexorable march of science. The concoction I'm currently formulating could change horticulture as we know it. Imagine, a fluid one could strew over crops to ward off pests. All I need are some ladybugs and someone to squash them. Ladybugs simply cannot resist aphids. Find some all thick lavender, dab it with a bit of aphid nectar, and they'll come swarming to the slaughter. Okay. Hi. For an adventurer, you certainly know how to wield a lice, life, a lice comb. As I'm sure you have found, sheep are delicate souls that require delicate care. Uh, truly wonderful wool requires time, love, and tenderness. You must caress their coats ever so gently, listen to their soft bleeding in your ear, feel the warmth of their breath on your neck. You're creepy. What's up, man? Hey. Hi. Uh, they call it, may call it the Red Rooster Stead, but make no mistake, dodos are the birds that keep this stead steady. Uh, those sweet and tender eggs, that succulent meat, so long as you uh, remove a dodoling's poison glands, you're in for some scrumptious and healthy poultry. They're so delicious, I have to remind myself some birds just aren't meant to be caged. Or perhaps I don't. Talk to uh, Japayan and see if we can't return those exquisite creatures to their pen. Okay. Hello. Uh, am I ever pleased to see you? I was about to cry foul, but with your help, we can round them up. These dim-witted dodos pecked through the fencing and flew the coop, or flood the coop. Luckily, they know better than to leave the stead. There are three bolting dodos in all. If you spot one, just throw one of these dodo-side sacks over its head. 
once you've caught all the birds, would you mind it leaving them in Mogram's care? I need to repair the fencing before we can return them to this enclosure, you see. Okay. La la la. Do 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 do. Um, hmm. This one over here. Oh, there it is. I can see the quest thingy over its head. Hello. As much as I played this game, I would know where they are. I just remember, but I don't because I'm stupid. Alrighty. There's the last one. I can see him. Not you. Not you. There you are. And there you go. Beautiful. Okay. Um, before we go, uh -huh. Drop those off to the creepy guy. Let's go kill these ladybugs. Wee! Ow! Do 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 do. Jump. Okay, there we go. Oh, yawn! some bugs. Let's go. Turn to me once you've collected three vials of vet ladybug viscera. You have it right here. It's elementary, really. Aphids live in fear of ladybugs, so, and so applying the scent of ladybug blood to our crops is, a cer is certain to ward off the parasites. We are manipulating the laws of nature. Of course, we could have just let the ladybugs go on defending the crops as always and not squash them for their viscera, but I hardly see the science in that. Um, well, you just explained the science in that, but okay. Hi, creep. I've heard everything. Hand me the dodos. Here you go. Oh, my precious darlings. Without their poison breath, they're defenseless out in the wild. Daddy Dodo gets so worried. And now my dodos have another daddy. I don't like you. You'll stay around and look after my babies, won't you? At least till they're ripe for slaughter. No. No. No, I won't. I won't stay around. In fact, I'm going to end the episode right here. You're scary. I don't like you. Goodbye. Anywho, um... Thank you for joining me for this episode, and we'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye-bye!